it's Judy here and welcome back to Animal Crossing New Horizons where it feels like just yesterday I was saying that I wanted to make a forest core island. I actually want to make my island natural. Like we moved to our island when it was a deserted island but I want to make it look like a deserted island but like the 2.0 version of a deserted island. Like a more detailed cozy version of what the island was when we first landed. Hopefully that makes sense. Wait, that was yesterday. Well, in any event, who says that you can't have a city next to a forest? I mean, that happens, right? You know? Seychelles is a big island. It's not all going to be forests. There's going to be some downtown parts. And what better part of the island to turn into a downtown area than resident services? The town's heart. The center of all the commotion on the island. It only makes sense to have a plaza by resident services, right? So if you remember in our last episode we were working on some mountains and some foresty areas but today I want to change things up and do a more European city style build. So as you can see I've already laid down the patterns for the plaza so all we have to do is just add some furniture. So the very first thing I'm going to do is add a castle gate leading up to resident services which by the way can we just talk about this for a second? The castle gate is more than double the price of the castle wall. But they're literally the same item, the only difference is the castle gate has a giant hole going through it. But technically, wouldn't the castle wall require more bricks and mortar and resources to create? Why would the castle gate cost so much more? I just found that very strange while I was gathering the supplies for this build. So anyways, next to the castle wall, I'm going to be placing some of these medieval building sides, which are so beautiful. I love the arches and the different stones and the little light and that light does light up at night as well which is so beautiful so absolutely absolutely love those. Then in the corner we'll place some more castle walls. Oh that did not go as close as I wanted it to go. Get nice and cozy with the medieval gate. There you go. No need to stay distant. We're all friends here. Then we'll place another castle wall on this side. And then to separate this from the surrounding island and make it look like it's its own little town square spot, I am going to bring the walls all the way down, but partially because they cost 56,000 bells a piece, but also because it creates a really cool lighting effect, I'm going to be breaking up the walls with street lanterns. And I think because the sun is on this side right now, it'll be easier to show you the lighting effect here. So if you place two walls next to each other, they can perfectly touch and seal each other. But if you pull them apart just a slither, just a little bit, a little bit more than that actually, you get these like sun rays going between the gaps. And I, I feel like it adds something, you know? I don't know why, but I always find in-game shadows so beautiful, so having something like this I think is just really lovely. And then we're not just going to leave these holes going right through the walls, we are going to fill them up with the street lamps. But I'm going to push them into the corner so it just sticks out a little bit, almost like the plants are hanging from the walls themselves. And just like that, you have these really beautiful walls. And then I think what I want to do is take one of the walls, like this one for example, and I don't have a second castle gate at the moment, but you can just replace... You know what? The castle gate is actually a lot wider than the wall. Interesting. Maybe that's why it costs more. It's about a block wider. Well, anyways, if you want to create an exit to the plaza, you can add a castle gate. And then here what I want to do is create a main street and I want it to be elevated up on top of a bridge overlooking a river which I think is going to be really pretty. I, I have ideas, I have ideas. For now though we can just close off this area because we don't need anybody coming to our little secret storage shed crafting spot. And alright, let's fix the gate. Almost forgot about that. And now let's get started on the- ooh. 
You know, I was gonna flatten it all the way like this, but like not mad about that little, that little depth there. That looks really nice. I think I'm gonna leave it like that actually. All right, so right in the center, if, um, let's start on the corners because Eunice is walking here right now. In the corners, I'm gonna plant some little bushes. So one bush here, bush there, bushes everywhere. Then between these bushes, we'll place some flowers. I like these flowers because they have a warm color, but they're also dark enough to match the copper of the street lamps. So I think that looks really nice. Then right in the center here, I'm gonna place a fountain. And of course, it's also important to have some places for villagers to sit down and rest. I mean, morning aerobics get really intense sometimes, you know? You definitely feel that burn and could benefit from a place to sit down and rest. Then, very much so inspired by the museum in the game, I'm gonna add some monarch butterflies to the corners here, as if they've come in from the forest and are also enjoying the town square. Let me know in the comments if you have a favorite type of butterfly, or even any sort of insect, and what they are. My favorite type of butterflies are monarch butterflies, so I really like getting to incorporate them here. Oh my goodness, come here, come here Hazel, come here. I'm currently fostering a dog named Hazel, which thank you guys so much for coming up with that name for her. It is absolutely adorable. And she just stepped on the capture card and almost disconnected it. Hi, what are you up to? So that's the basic structure of the plaza done. In the future, I want to add like some wheelbarrows and stuff to make it look like people are selling flowers. We can also decorate the space for holidays. And there is enough room here to like add lights or trees or decorations and you'll still be able to walk, which is really nice. And then in the front here, I really want to add like a bunch of plant partitions as the border. Unfortunately, I don't have any plant partitions right now. I'm still, I believe they're from the DLC. And I still haven't spent enough Pocky to be able to purchase things from the DLC catalog yet. So, also this butterfly is in the wrong direction. There we go. So that's our progress for today. I'm excited to expand upon this area and also the area around it. I think it's going to be fun. I really love the new ivory bricks and the color scheme happening here. I think it looks really nice. So, I'll see you all soon. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you have a lovely rest of your day. Bye everybody!